Welcome back to Malamec Art. My name is Mickey, and today I'm going to be reviewing seven of my favorite uh, brands of watercolors. Um, <laughs> and this is a fun one and a hard one to do because I have been reviewing a lot of watercolors this year, and it's really hard to um, come up with just seven brands that are my favorite because I love them all. Um, so for the first brand, it would be Lucas 1862. So that'll be the first one. Next is Daniel Smith. Next one is Jalamisha Gold Class Watercolors. Very long name. And next is Da Vinci. And the next is Core. And next is um, Turner. And last but not least, my honorable mention, Soho. Soho is a Jerry's Artorama house brand that is super cheap and super vibrant. <laughs> and then we're going to put them through some pros and cons list. And then I'm going to do a swatch of each of these um, Quinn Rose, or close as I can get, I think, I don't know if I, don't know if I have them all, but um, Quinn Rose, Lemon Yellow, and Ultramarine Blue of them all will compare the um, vibrancy. So let's get started. Hi there, I'm back with um, all of the swatches and um, I had to use different pigments for the Quinn Rose Magenta colors, um, but what we're really looking for is color vibrancy. <coughs> um, I also used a different yellow for the Turner yellow, it is uh, permanent yellow. Um, and for the Mission Gold they had um, French Ultramarine which has a PB15 in it. So there's the variants. Um, these two are the same pigment. And let's see, these two are in the same family. Um, and this one's different and this one's different. This one's actually natural rose matter, which is NR9. Um, but um, I'd say that the Daniel Smith is probably in the core, probably the weakest as far as these reds. Um, and then moving on to the lemon yellows, they're all the same. And the Turner, same, um, hi Mitty, same um, payload with the um, vibrancy there. I would say out of all of them, the weakest are probably these two which is Daniel Smith and Lucas. Lucas is the most um, opaque out of them all. As far as opacity, I think Lucas has the most for the magenta. Um, all the ultramarine blues are granulating, save for the Turner, which has got this very, very fine grit. Um, Soho, very, very fine grit. It's not very granulating, but I would say the Soho is the darkest out of them all. There's some really cool granulation patterns in um, the core and the Da Vinci here and Daniel Smith. And Lucas is pretty finely granulating too. Otherwise, they're all very similar. So I think this is probably why I like them all is they all kind of act the same when it comes to um, pigmentation and vibrancy color load. Um, so there's that. Now we're on next, we're on to the pros and cons. Okay, here's where it gets a little technical and um, a kind of overwhelming as far as information. 
Um, but I'm going to try to keep it simple with this chart and explain um, as we go. So first I wanted to um, see if these guys offered information on websites and so far CORE has a website with all their information on pigments and their safety sheets on their website. Um, uh, Mission Gold does as well. Um, Lucas does, Turner, um, Da Vinci's doesn't, but I've asked um, for their information sheet, so I'm going to leave them blank. Um, so I guess you can write, you can ask them. Um, Daniel Smith, yes, and Soho does not. Um, they are the in house Jerry's Artorama brand, and I've asked them as well, so I've asked. Um, so I kind of that kind of gives them a little bit of a strike. I'm sure there's pigment information on Da Vinci somewhere. I just I couldn't find it on their website um, readily available. So next, um, are they affordable? Um, so I would say that Soho is probably the most affordable with their being um, their price being 149 for a seven mil tube. Um, and let's see, Daniel Smith, um, I found them to be $6 for a 5 mil tube and up. Um, so $6 is probably the least you'll find um, for Daniel Smith in a 5 mil, um, unless you find some really good sale that I don't know about because I really did search. Um, Next is Da Vinci, and the cheapest ones I found are around eight dollars for a 15 mil tube and up. Um, and for Turner, I have found them um, like on a really ridiculous sale, sometimes three dollars, but that's not normal. So I would say somewhere around five dollars for a 15 mil tube and up. Um, Lucas, um, they sell half pans, um, so they go anywhere from four dollars for the half pan and up. Um, and let's see, Mission Gold is um, very expensive, so I would say um, I found them in usually around nine dollars, but lowest is eight something, $8.99 or $8.89 or $8.50 um, for a 15 mil tube. Um, and uh, okay, for that and up. And Core is same price, around $8 and up for a 7 mil tube. So um, as far as affordability, um, you kind of see them right there. Um, next is, do they have a lot of color? Um, what's the range of colors? And um, I found Soho has 60. Daniel Smith, you can correct me on this, guys, if you know more about this. But this is what I found. Da Vinci, I saw somewhere that it says 400. And around there, I don't know, but I think that's probably for every single oils and watercolors and stuff. So I still need to do more research on that. But I, I'm assuming Da Vinci has a, a ton of different um, <clears throat> colors. I haven't printed out a color chart of theirs, or else I would have. So this was my guess after reading um, on their website. Um, Turner has um, 148 right now. Lucas has um, 70. Um, Mission, Mijello, Mission Gold has 105 for watercolors and Core has 83 right now. So, um, do they come in sets and singles? Um, um, Soho does. Um, Daniel Smith, they do, Soho does like 24 set, 24 watercolor sets. Um, Daniel Smith, I've seen the um, the trial uh, sets. Um, 
but um, nothing more than I think I think there was one that was like eight so around eight so I would say yes and they're open stock um, and Da Vinci I have seen their they have trios um, and that's about it all I've seen so I guess that's a yes um, Turner's definitely has sets and singles Lucas has sets and singles Mission Gold sets and singles and Core sets and singles um, okay and the next thing I wanted to go over is um, the reduction after you get them in the pan how much do they reduce like I do mine over full and how much do they reduce in the pan after they've dried so after looking at everything that I have um, Soho's reduces 70 percent and I'm not kidding they reduce so poorly I'll show you hold on a second I'm gonna take my microphone off to get it So let's see if I can find one here. Uh, yeah, so here's, oopsie, wiggling. So here is a primary yellow, cad yellow, oopsie. And it was full at one point, but it's pr pretty poor. But I like them because of the pigmentation payload that you get with them. Hopefully that doesn't fall down. Okay, so, oops. So Daniel Smith, um, they do around 25% reduction in pans. Um, I should probably just show you everything. Um, da Vinci's right here is around 30%. Um, um, Daniel Smith, Daniel Smith, where are you? That's so cool. So. Here's a Daniel Smith. So there's quite a bit of reduction. And to be fair, and their, their ultramarines just fall right out. Um, but a lot of them do, so. Um, Turner's is um, 30%. They do quite a bit of reduction. So the worst one I've seen is and it really depends on the color. So this, I just did, um, filled this, and I even put glycerin in it and it reduced quite a bit. And Lucas, um, where's my Lucas? There's so many paint sets on here right now. Lucas, I had said it is um, around 10%. They actually do really well. This was just filled the other day. Well, not the other day, but a week ago. And they're pretty good. They're pretty fair. And they're not sticky, which I like. Okay, so yeah, this is what I like about Lucas too, is you don't lose a lot. Um, Mission Golds. These are all completely full. Not this one, but I would say this is a good fare. It's about um, anywhere from 20, 20 to 5 to 30 percent. Let's give them a 25. And core, I don't have any to show you because I did fill these up doubly, but they do reduce about 25 percent as well. And are they sticky? Um, the only one that's sticky is um, the Mission Gold. The other ones are really do really well. Like, um, do it, what do I mean by sticky? Like, if you put your finger in it and the pan comes up, that's sticky. <laughs> um, Non-sticky is the opposite. You put your finger in it and it just stays. For some reason, that bothers me so much, the stickiness. And it matters to me and different stuff matters to different people <laughs> so here's the stuff I found on this um, on these brands what's my favorite I don't know I mean I really like them all 
for different reasons. You know, I like, I like Soho because there's so much pigment in these paints and you can get them for $1.50 a tube. I mean, seriously, that's amazing. And look at all the range. The range is, you get 60 different colors for a buck 50. Unbelievable, unbeatable. Um, I like Daniel Smith because, well, they don't stick to my finger. <laughs> um, and there's such a really good payload with the colors. They're very vibrant. All of them are vibrant. I have, you know, that's why I didn't do a row for vibrancy because they are all vibrant all the way down the board. Um, uh, da Vinci I like because they have really cool different colors. Um, Turner's great because they're very affordable right in the middle. I almost would say they're my favorite because ugh, I hate saying that. I don't want to commit to that. Um, I really do love Core. Um, I love them because they're new and they have Aquazol and they just they act differently on the paper. I kind of like that. It's like I'm having a new friend. <laughs> I don't have any friends. Um, and um, Mission Gold's really cool because they're so pigmented and they have really cool colors. Um, 105, you know, that's a lot of colors. And I don't know, they all have something to offer. So these are my favorites. Do I have a favorite? I can't come. Yeah, so I got cut off, but these are my favorites. So <laughs> here you have it. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you again soon.